Hey guys, I take every week, and in this video, um, I have an update to the jailbreak status uh, for iOS 6. Um, 6.1.3 6 um, was released a while ago now. I believe it's been already at least a couple of weeks. Uh, and some people um, updated the 6.1.3 or they tried restoring their device and it forced them to update and stuff like that. Uh, as you, as most of you do know, um, Evasion was released on uh, the jailbreak program that could jailbreak 6.1.2 and any software previous to that um, for every single device that's out there. Uh, evasion could jailbreak that um, but Apple released 6.1.3 and they patched the jailbreak in that and now people have updated to 6.1.3 or restored and updated and um, they lost their jailbreak because of that and they cannot jailbreak 6.1.3 now uh, so if you're currently jailbroken or anything like that um, there's no way you can get rid of your jailbreak and re-jailbreak uh, because if you want to restore something and set up your device as new just so you kind of get rid of some of that unused data that's on your phone or if you just want to kind of like start over on your phone and um I uh, just have like a fresh restore. There's no way you're, you're going to be able to restore and erase everything off your phone and read jailbreak on 6.1.2 because it's going to force you to update to 6.1.3. Uh, I do want to say if you guys don't understand anything I'm saying in this video, just go ahead and comment down below and I'll respond to and explain it for you. A lot of this information can be uh, complex and a little bit confusing to some people that aren't familiar with iOS and the jailbreaks and everything. Uh, basically, if you're below 6.1.3, um, meaning you're on 6.1.2 or below that, you can jailbreak. You just do not want to update to 6.1.3. I uh, know that jailbreak I just talked about, the evasion jailbreak, uh, it is untethered as most of you do know that as well. Uh, but if you did update to 6.1.3, um, as long as your device is a pre-A5 device, uh, you can actually jailbreak that tethered uh, using Red Snow. Uh, so it's not an untethered jailbreak, um, but you're at least, you can at least have a jailbreak this way. And that is because um, previously uh, the Limerine exploit was a hardware exploit and that was for all the A4 devices and the pre-A4 devices. Um, so basically you can always jailbreak those devices no matter what um, tethered. You can, it's not always going to be untethered, um, but it will be tethered. You can at least always jailbreak those devices. Um, but everything that was released after the A4 devices, that Limerine exploit was patched and it won't work for those. And Redmond Pi actually has a link right here posted to their jailbreak tutorial if you guys want to check that out um, I'll also put this link in the description um, to this post here if you guys want to check that out so now if you are on 6.1.3 uh, like I said there is no untethered jailbreak for that but if your device is a pre a device you can jailbreak it tethered um, but we're most likely not going to see a 6.1.3 jailbreak uh, and they explain that uh, Pound2G explains why um, and Reverend Pi puts it in this post and everything uh, right here and that's because the jailbreak developers want to save the exploits they have um, for a major release of iOS which would most likely be iOS 7. Uh, we're not going to see any major updates to iOS 6 really so most likely all the exploits they have now I think they have uh, it looks like they have three exploits right now I thought they said something like they had a like a five of them or something like that but I think they might have used all those on the evasion jailbreak um, so it looks like they only have three right now, but they any exploit they have right now that's unused, they're not going to use it for um, iOS 6. They're most likely going to hold off and wait for iOS 7, and they're going to use it for that. Uh, so if you guys are stuck in 6.1.3, don't expect a jailbreak for it. Uh, it's very, very unlikely for that to happen. So if you are stuck in 6.1.3, I'm sorry to tell you that you're probably not going to have a jailbreak uh, until iOS 7 is released, and it may be sometime even after that. Uh, like a, a good amount of time after iOS 7 is released before you'll actually see that jailbreak as well. So definitely do not update to 6.1.3 if you're before, if right now if your device is um, on something before that, because you're not going to be able to jailbreak for a long time uh, if you update to that. Uh, so that's basically what this entire article here um, has to say. I just kind of summed it up for you guys. and I wanted to let you know about the article and everything. Uh, so if you want to check it out and read it word for word for yourself, um, go ahead and just click on the link for it in the description. Um, and I actually found this other post here um, on Techno Buffalo um, talking about iOS 7. Um, it's going to offer like a brand new UI, um, but it sounds like it's behind schedule. And I'm thinking I'm, I'm probably going to do a video on this in my next video. So you guys can look forward to that if you're interested in something like that. Um, but back to the 6.1.3 jailbreak. Uh, yeah, so definitely do not look for a 6.1.3 jailbreak. Um, and a warning out to you guys, there's some fake ones out there asking for money and stuff. You'll most likely never, ever have to pay for a jailbreak. Um, and if you do have to pay for one, um, I'd definitely let you guys know. But as of now, you definitely do not have to pay for a jailbreak. So if anyone's asking for money for a jailbreak, um, stay away from that. That's definitely a fake. And as I said, um, we're most likely not going to have a 6.1.3 jailbreak anyway. Um, but I'll let you guys know if there's a 6.1.3 jailbreak or anything else after that. I'll keep you guys updated with all that information everything like that. Um, if any new exploits are found and stuff like that, um, I'll keep you guys updated with that. Um, just stay away from anything that says you can jailbreak 6.1.3 because it's fake. 
Uh, so that's basically it for this post. Uh, I'm kind of curious what you guys have to think about them saving all the exploits for iOS 7. Uh, so if you want to give me your thoughts or anything, go ahead and leave a comment down below and tell me what you're thinking about it. Uh, because these exploits they're saving right now um, for iOS 7, Apple might patch these in iOS 7. So all these exploits they're saving right now and they can use on iOS 6. Um, once iOS 7 is released, all those exploits could just um, pretty much have no use at all uh, if Apple patches those exploits that they have right now. Um, so them kind of saving it, it's kind of a risk, but it could also end up paying off if they don't patch them. Uh, so if you guys have any thoughts on that, uh, go ahead and comment down below. I'm kind of curious what you guys have to think about that. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it down below. That helps me out. I appreciate that. Uh, and if you want my future updates and my future tech videos and all that kind of stuff, um, go ahead and subscribe, and that will keep you updated with everything. I'll release videos to the updates, the jailbreaks, and I'll have more tech stuff to come. Um, if you're currently jailbroken, I'll have tweak reviews to come in the future uh, and all that kind of stuff. So go ahead and subscribe if you would like to, um, and that'll keep you updated when I release all my uh, future videos. Uh, but that's it. Um, also, if you guys do have any questions about what I said in this video or anything else, um, related to jailbreak or anything like that, go ahead and leave a comment down below as well. And I'll respond to you and give you guys the best answer I can uh, to whatever your question is. Uh, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later.